وتحروهم من رب المسرى جميعا وتحروهم فجروهم من حيث كانوا وانحروهم واطرد من رب المسرى جميعا ضيقوا الدنيا عليهم واقهروهم واسكبوا الويلات في درب العدالة the middle of Baghdad this morning battled in the heart of the city. This was an American fighting vehicle in an area where Saddam Hussein went to school and still has support. Crowds came out to celebrate or simply watch. American attack helicopters were sent in. Their mission, the US military said, to destroy the vehicle and prevent looting. But no one here expected what happened next. An Arab television correspondent, Mervyn Tomasi, is reporting from the scene when a helicopter fired. He died of his wounds, one of at least 13 killed in Hyper Street today in hours of fighting. Hospitals busy with the many injured. They came from several parts of the city in the morning of gunfire and explosions. Warning sirens as missile after missile slammed into the heavily guarded compound as an Iraq interim authority. It's been targeted many times before, but not with such a sustained barrage that no one could stop. Two and a half months since the new government took office, its police still don't control anything like the whole of the country. There are still several areas where neither they nor American forces go. Now, for there to be so much trouble in the center of the capital, doesn't go well for them. Iraqi Prime Minister in Bajra today with British troops was talking characteristically tough. We are adamant that we are going to defeat terrorism. Uh, as you know, uh, they are trying uh, to undermine Iraq uh, with the aim of undermining the whole region, stability in the whole region, as well as the world. And we intend to confront them and uh, bring them to justice. Back in Baghdad, though, another car bomb. The police are being attacked here even as they try to restore order. And so are American troops. On all sides, the toll is rising. <laughs>